Uh, hello and welcome to Glentan Football Club for the final of the Cork County Minor B Football League between St Peter's, the Rock Chapel, wheeling combination against all big Rangers from Buttevant. And the game is on and Damien Murphy pulls the ball in, held by sit the back Sean Gairn. Free out for Buttevant to be taken by the number six. Sean Gairn, he drives a low ball out the wing T towards number 10, Pat O'Keefe. Pat. Loses that ball. Ball between John Guinea and number seven. Free against John Guinea. Free up for Buttevant. To be taken by Owen Carroll. <laughs> Referee Pat O'Brien from Mallow. And the pitch in splendid condition. A lovely day here in Glantad for the game. A long high ball in. Won by Conor Guinea. Gets it out to Morris Murphy. Out to Dan O'Connor. Dan is fouled. Free out for, Rock Ch for uh, St. Peter's. Dan will take this one off his hands himself. Here he comes. A long ball into the middle between John Francis and the centre back. Centre back wins it. He gets a hand pass out here to to Kieran Kennedy. Kieran a bad ball to Connor Guinea. A long high ball in for Connor. PJ Murphy chasing after. A free in. PJ wins the free. And uh, John Francis Murphy. Wearing number eight, playing at centre half forward, will take this free. The referee wants him to take it from the correct position. And here comes John, a member of the Rock Chapel under 21 team who were defeated last Sunday. And this is a great chance for Rock Chapel. Here he comes. And he sends it straight and through over the bar. The first score of the game for Rock Chapel. One point to no score. Two minutes gone. No call, take look. And with me here, I have John Murphy, who is uh, my assistant for the day here in the studio. Uh, and uh, any early thoughts, John, of the game? Uh, Rock Chapel seems to have settled in fairly well. And um, that early score will have helped an awful lot to settle down the team. Okay. Morris Murphy is playing well at centre back, and if he continues, we should be well in the game. Okay, so here comes the Butterman goalie, David Bowles, to take the kick out. He sends it out the far side of the field towards between Damien Murphy and Brendan Daly. Brendan wins that ball well. Sends a good ball up the middle. It's a free in for Buttevant. The ball went behind Morris Murphy and some holding going on. The free in to be taken by number eight, who is um, Declan Fitzgerald, a member of last of the under-16 team for Buttevant, who were defeated in the county final last Sunday by Glenville. And they'll be hoping for better luck today. Here he comes. He sends a good ball up the wing, contested by centre forward Dominic Jinx. Dominic on the ground being harassed by Morris Murphy and he loses it. Damien Murphy comes away with it. Damien goes down as well, looking up and sends a good ball down the middle here. Here comes Colum Murphy. Colum goes down as well and wins it. He turns and gets it out to John Francis Murphy. John Francis has a good ball in for PJ Murphy. PJ going through, good covering by the cornerback. By the cornerback, number twenty, Timmy Jinx, great covering. He sends a long ball out the wing here. And won by Timmy Joe Sullivan. But his ball, it's a free out. Won by Tom Delahunt, the bottom and full back. He sends a good ball out the field here. Well won by Connie Curtin, and Connie sends a high, a very high ball in by Connie. PJ Murphy is under it. Colum Murphy is chasing in, but well cleared by the cornerback. PJ Murphy should get out of this one. John Guinea is outside him. PJ turns in well. Still peak away. A good ball back to Damien Murphy. A chance of a score. And over the bar. A great score for St. Peter's by Damien Murphy. And the Rock Chapel Minster is delighted with that one. Great play by PJ Murphy and a great finish by Damien. Wearing number four but playing in the middle of the field today. Damien, currently the goalkeeper for the under 21 and intermediate teams in Rock Chapel. And uh, looking around here, he's parted by Conor in the middle of the field. Conor, a great long-distance runner. Runs with the real club in Castle Island, and he should be plenty fit enough for today's game. Driven out the wing, Damien jumps, but misses that. But Conor Guinea, well read by Conor. And he sends another good ball in, the long ball in for PJ again. And great catch by PJ, he's inside. Into Colum Murphy, a chance, Colum. He takes a shot, it's blocked down. 
and cleared out by the cornerback. It's going to be a line ball for St. Peter's. And coming out to take it is T.D. Sullivan. T.D. isn't it? It is. Here's T.D. No, he's leaving it now for John Francis Murphy. And that was a good chance of a point there, maybe. But well, good covering by the bottom in defence. In. The full back fails to hold it. A 50 ball for, Rock for St. Peter's. And... Uh, And five minutes gone, Rock Chapel, St. Peter's, the Rock Chapel wheeling combination leading by two points to no score. And it looks like Dame John Francis Murphy is going to kick this one. No panic in the Rock Chapel and the St. Peter's win yet. John Francis will probably drive this one into the square again towards PJ Murphy. PJ just out of under 16, was on, would be a minor again next year. Currently going to school in Abbey Field. He'll be doing his leaving later on this year. And he's playing with the Abbey Field vocational. Here comes John Francis. A high ball, a good ball in. Tailing a little bit. One inside, cleared out by the cornerback. Tady, Tady Sullivan is letting it go, lets it run. Wisely out on the sideline. And another line ball for Rock Chapel. And Tady leaves this one again to John Francis again. Damien making a move here and a go well spotted by by John Francis and there goes Damien on a great on a great point again and Damien Murphy playing some great football there running onto that ball very well and a great shot and over the bar and that's Damien's second score Rock St. Peter's lead three points to no score with about seven minutes of play gone and goalkeeper David Bowles again getting ready to kick it out also a member of last week's under 16 team which were uh, defeated and here he comes he sends a good ball out to the middle of the field. Up between Damien and they all go up. Morris Murphy reads it well. Morris, not a great pass by Morris. Intercepted by the centre-back. And he drives a long, quick ball in. But again, David Murphy. David David recovers well. Dan Connors, David Murphy. A lot of messing over there. The referee is going to hop the ball, I think. And uh, a few mistakes made there. Could have been one a bit better. And the referee wants only two of them. He wants David and number 14, who is DJ O'Hellahy. Two strong men going for this ball. DJ wins that one, but Morris Murphy comes out, wins a good free. A good free. And Morris will probably kick this one himself off his hands. And here he comes. He'll drive this one long again. He'll be hitting, looking for PJ Murphy again. Oh, he decides a good one for John Francis. John is out in front. Under pressure, number six, John Gayen wins it well. He comes out the field, gives a good ball. Morris Murphy, a great catch by Morris. Trying to get out, gets a hand pass away. Not a great pass. Well won by the, the bottom and wing forward in between the own. Oh, here, here comes Donald Broderick. He has it, he loses it. And Connor Ganey, a great clearance by Connor. To Damien Murphy, and Damien gets it well pulled out there by the wing back, Owen Carroll. And it comes out here, it just goes out over the sideline. And the ball, Rock Chap, St. Peter's ball, to be taken by Connie Curtin. Here comes Connie. He'll drive this one long. Oh, a grand kick by Connie in from T Timmy Joe, but Timmy Joe, a bit of pulling. And it's a free out. Kieran Kennedy will take this one. He takes a look up, he's going to kick this one off his hands. He's in the nice shot one up here. Connie Cotton contested. Morris Murphy wins it. He's well fouled. Done, Morris. He's, well done, Morris. he's fouled by number 10, Pat O'Keefe. Right, Colin. Morris can take this on himself. He sends it. John Francis well done, Sean, doesn't go for that. Number 6 wins it, Sean Gayden. And it goes over, goes over here to number 10, Pat O'Keefe. He's caught him on his own. David Murphy comes to him. Dan O'Connor comes to him. They do well. Connor and he intercepts it and pulls first time. A great ball out. It comes here, number, John Francis contests this one, number six. A good ball from number six, so Connie Cotton might get here. Connie gets there, maybe a bit lucky to get away with a push. He gets a good ball down to Timmy Joe. Timmy Joe goes down it well. And wins it on a good fast ball into PJ Murphy. And PJ up well. Holds it a lovely little flick out to John Francis. He sends a nice ball out here to Martin Leary. Martin, the youngest man in the field. He's turning, he's still going, he's still going. 
he loses it a bit unlucky there he loses it it's clear out the wing and uh, number seven over there a strong man for Buttevant Owen Carroll goes for it with uh, with with uh, Conor Guinea is it? Conor Guinea is it? And Connor will take this sideline ball. John Francis, John Francis Murphy. John across to John Guinea. John gets it. John. A good quick ball in by John to Martin Leary. PJ go down on this one. PJ wins it. He turns and sends it all the way. A great score by PJ. PJ operating very effective at full forward at the moment. Out in front of his man and contesting everything. And Rock Chapel, or St. Peter will be very wise to keep pumping the ball into him. Ten minutes gone. Rock Chapel lead. Four points and no score. And the Buttevant Minters here trying to get their team going. They haven't made any they haven't made much progress yet against the Rock Chapel, against the St. Peter's backline. A very strong backline there of when you look across them, Connie Curtin, Morris Murphy and David, a low kick out, won by Kian Kennedy, under pressure, good pressure from the Rock Chapel forward line. The St. Peter's forward line. Morris Murphy comes out, he doesn't get it. Timmy Joe pulls a nice one into John Francis, a chance of a score. It's Oh, unlucky, the goalie blocks it. And he drives a good long ball out towards number nine, Declan Fishdull. De a great catch by Declan Fishdull. And a long ball over here between Connie Curtin and number 12. Connie contested well. Connor Guinea wins the break. Connor, a great game last Sunday in the under 21s at wing back. And PJ's out in front. And a great catch by PJ. And a, a quickly lets it off to John. Free, a free in for Lockchapel. John Francis fouled on the ground. But another great. Long ball from Conor Guinea, PJ Murphy winning yet again out in front. And here's John Francis with a chance of a Face score. It, PJ. Here he comes. A nice one, a very, very nice one, and all Face the way over the bar. Five points to no score. Rock Chapel, St. Peter's lead. And that is Damien Murphy with two, PJ Murphy with one, John Francis with two. With two. One from three. Oh, that's John Francis, one from three from the ground and one from a free from his hands. Damien Murphy, two points from the middle of the field and PJ Murphy, a great point from full forward. And here's D David Balls again. He's having a busy first half, a busy first 12 minutes as he takes this kick out again. He drives a nice one. A strong breeze favouring St. Peter's. A well won at centre back. But at number 10, Pat O'Keefe. He sends a good ball up here to number 12. Who's Donald Broderick. He wins and a great pass back to Pat O'Keefe. Pat going through the middle, he's harassed by Conor Guinea, he's harassed by Dan O'Connor, he's still going. A great run, a great pull on the ground, it's tough stuff up there, well won inside by the corner forward, back, paid back out. Still bottom and go through, a dangerous looking ball in, John Guinea gets it, a goal! Oh, John Murphy, a goal and bottom are back in this match. A goal, a high ball in and their first attack, John hasn't had much chance to handle the ball up to now. Unfortunately, he didn't do the. He didn't get away with that one. He's uh, very disappointed. Five points to a goal. Just two points in it now. After about 14 minutes of play. And John, John Murphy taking his first kick out, and here he comes. And bottom now would be very enthusiastic after getting that score. The Minters up and down the line here, driving him on. A good kick out by John, well won by his brother Damien in the middle of the field. Of John Francis Murphy, sorry, great ball to David. David attacking down from half back line. Good ball, well read by Owen Carroll. Carroll drives a high ball. Morris Murphy coming for this. He draws a fist and he gets something. The ball is on the ground. Out here towards John Guinea. John goes down as well. He turns his man under pressure from Owen Carroll. Gets a good pass back. And John wins the free. He'll take this himself off his hands. Here he comes. He'll drive this one in long. He does in towards PJ again. PJ is out in front yet again. He wins it. Martin Leary goes down it. A great pass to John Francis. A chance of a score and a great score. A great score. A great play. PJ again, the, the provider, contesting everything in there. Martin Leary picks up the break and puts John Francis and no better man to put it over than John. Six points to a goal, and we have about 16 minutes of play gone. And the St. Peter's combination lead by three points. And that's John Francis's third. And uh, himself and PJ operating very effectively up the middle. Come on, 
the bottom and Minters here driving on their men. They know they're back in the game now. Here comes David Balls again with the kick out. He drives out this swing this time. He's varying his kick out as well. Connor Guinea contested, breaks it, but well won again by Pat O'Keefe. He's in the good ball up towards centre forward. He doesn't get there. It's a hop ball. I think the referee's going to hop this ball. Number eight there. Jackson Fitzgerald operating centre forward up between Connie Curtin and it looks like uh, Jamie, come down here in front. Brendan Go Daly ahead. who's going to go for this one. The referee trying to get the rest of them away. Here comes Connie with the well won by number nine. <laughs> in towards Danny Murphy and Danny comes out. Danny wins it well. He get his clearance in a great clearance from Danny under pressure down the wing. Well done by Timmy Joe and down here to Colum and Colum hands it first time. A great ball to John Francis. John and the long ball again for PJ. Martin, PJ and Martin Leary inside the two of them are there. A bit of a shamortal in there at the moment. It looks like it's the bottom of it. It goes in behind everybody. A chance maybe. No, booted out to safety by the fullback. I think by the fullback. Sorry, the cornerback Timmy Jinx. And it's going to be a 45 for St Peter's. And definitely every time that ball goes in there to PJ. The Bottevin defence are really shaking in their boots. And this looks like Damien is going to kick this one. Now oh, here he, Damien will kick this one. Currently studying down in Limerick, construction studies. Comes up every every week for training. And of course comes home every weekend for the matches. He was on the on the 21 team also last weekend. There was, Beaten, defeated by Mill Street by two points in a tough game down in Ahina. Here he'll come. He's taking a good long run up to this one, Damien. Here he comes. Well used to kicking. Takes all the kick outs himself. Here he comes. He drives this on a grand kick from Damien. It looks a great kick. In the front of the goalie. Well held by the goalie and well cleared out. And it's going to be a right good ball. Kick, a great kick by Damien. It comes out here and who's out here? Conor Guinea is out to take it. Connor drives it across the goal towards PJ again. Column goes up. PJ, the goalie wins it well. Half block down. It's gone wide. The umpire signals it's gone wide. And John Fra Yes, it's gone wide. It'll be kick out for David Bowles from the corner of the square. And a very good game of football here at the moment. Very fast and the pitch seems to be holding up very well. I'll just go on now to John Murphy for another quick comment, John. Um, with about 20 minutes gone, Rock Chapel should be further ahead. That goal was a disaster for them. Um, but if we keep getting the ball into PJ Murphy, he's playing excellent stuff for full forward. Right. I think we'll keep getting the scores. Okay. And here comes Brendan Dahlia, a very strong and forceful player in the middle of the field. Morris Murphy backs under it. It goes behind David Murphy, comes to pull. It goes back behind Dent and well pulled out by Philip Murphy. Out to wing forward, wins it for, uh, for, for, for Bottevent. He's under pressure, he's fouled a free into Bottevent. A free in for the, I think it's the number eight, who's Declan Fitzgerald. I think he's operating at centre half forward at the moment. But it's going to be taken, I think, off the ground by Dick Brendan Daly. The referee telling him where to put it. And here he'll come. Yes, he's taking this one off the ground. Brendan, I think a member of the under 16 team, a very strong under 16 if he is. No, sorry, no, he's not a member of the under 16 team. He'll come in, he drives it in, a good high ball in it. They'll be driving in the hit the high balls in. Two bottom in men jump for him. One of them wins it well. He's under pressure. He kicks it sort of back over his head. The boys go up for it. It breaks. Well won by Philip Murphy. Great cornerback play there by Philip and a great clearance. Will John Guinea get it? John is under pressure from number seven. John falls number seven. It's a free in for bottom in and another drive in. From Owen Carroll at number seven. Well won red by Connie Cotton. A great catch and Connie comes out and wins his free. Great catch, wing back play by Connie Cotton. The boys are telling him, slow it down here, Connie. No panic, we're up three points. Here he comes, off his hands. A fine kick by Connie. Up, oh, John Guinea will be under this one. He contested well. Damien Murphy wins the break. Gives it on to John Francis Murphy. John, a good ball in towards PJ again. PJ contests. The boy, they didn't read the break there. And it comes out here between towards number 12, Donald Broderick. Donald picks it up onto his left leg. He's under pressure from Connor and he gets a nice little kick in there to the wing back, Kian Kennedy. Kian drives it in. The full forward is out in front of Denny. He pulls it in. John Murphy would get this one. 
John is under pressure. John does the right thing and gets it out of the danger zone. It'll be a line ball for Buttevant. A line ball for Buttevant. To be taken by number eight, nine, Brendan Daly. Moving, operating all over the field. This man, he's going to kick this one high. And sorry, it was number eight, Fitzgerald. It's across. It's one. It's fisted out. It comes, it comes out to number 15. He takes a nice kick in. A nice kick, but it's just to the, to the left and just wide. Taken by Richard Daly, the captain of the team. Very unlucky there on his left leg. And John Murphy will take, will take a kick out. Hasn't been too busy yet, John. This is only his second kick out. Here he comes. He'll drive this one long if he can. Which he does. Drives it out to the middle. The bottom and mint contested. They win it on their own. Number 10. Keith David Murphy blocks it on the ground and a great bit of play by David Connie Cotton almost lets it out pulls pulls a bit unlucky Timmy Joe will go down on this one no a good harassing there number five wins it well though Kian Kian a great ball into the middle well won by Pat O'Keefe and Pat takes a shot that's tailing a little bit it's one inside Dan Connors brings it out not far enough though it's taken in a free end a free end a free in against uh, St. Peter's, a free in for Buttevant. But a bit of a wild swing there off the neck. It's six points at three. Six points to a goal. This will be a chance for Buttevant to narrow the gap to two points. With, with, about, uh, eight minutes. with about eight minutes to half time, and they'd like this one to go over. The Minters here, they want this goal to get their team back in the game. Here he comes. It looks like. A low, low one that goes over the bar. A dangerous shot to be kicked there from Brendan Daly. It could have gone anywhere. But it went over the bar and it's now just two points in it. 1-1 one, one for Buttevant. Six points for St. Peter's. And we make it 23 minutes gone in the first half. Seven minutes to half time. John Murphy bringing out the ball for the kick out. Here comes John. He sends a good ball out the field, out the middle of the field. Damien goes up for it. Buttevant win it well again in the middle of the field. They're starting to win a few. Great block by Morris on, Murphy Morris. and Morris comes in. Morris. And now a free to Morris, a free to Morris. Uh, number six there, Sean Gearn, a tough man. The two number sixes clash there. And you could hear it out here on the sideline. There'll be no shirking from either man there. And Morris takes the kick. It's goes in as far as Timmy Joe Timmy Joe wins it Timmy Joe sends a great ball out to John Gini. John can he hold it John sends a dangerous ball into Colum Colum doesn't quite get it it goes wide looked like a dangerous enough sort of a ball in there but it went out wide in the end and David Bowles there's number seven Owen Carroll is injured at the moment he took a, a knock there it looks like in the head or on the neck maybe he's Looks a bit uncomfortable at the moment. A strong man there for Buttevant. They wouldn't like to lose him. Playing very well at number seven. It looks as if his shoulder or We're not too sure, but... He came at the end of it. Some knock there in the middle of that. Every, all the both sets of Minters taking the opportunity to go in and coach their players. There's as many, I think, uh, Rock Chapel uh, and St. Peter's people in there as there is uh, Buttevant, but uh, I think the referee, I think he's OK. Number seven, he looks a bit uncomfortable all the time, but I think he's OK. Yes, he's going. Number seven, a strong man there for Buttevant. And this will be a kick out after a wide ball to be taken by David Balls. He's going to come, he's... Signaling out this side of the wing, he sends it out this wing. PJ Murphy goes up for it, breaks it with the bottom and man. Brendan Daly having a great game in the middle of the field, wins it and well won here by number 12, Donald Broderick. And Donald going through, toward a hand on the left leg. He looks up, he sends the ball, his kind of screws off a bit. Dan Connors goes up and contests. Philip Murphy shoving his man out, Richard Daly before him, across to Broderick again. A lovely ball across here, but David Murphy reads it great. Great play by David, and David comes out of defence. David. Slips but recovers well. Yeah, move him there. Hey, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. 
It comes out here to Timmy Joe. Timmy Joe sends a low ball in in front. Colin will win this one. Colin wins it. Looks up for someone. Gives it to John Francis. John shakes off his man, looking up. Sends a ball in. That's got the block down. Would that be a 45? It goes in. It's contested. It's uh, it's. Is it a free out or is it a 45? I think it's a free out. Yes, it's a free out taken by Timmy, by Jinx, uh, Timmy Jinx. Probably a brother to his number 11, Dominic. It goes in, it goes in over everybody and Morris Murphy reads it first. He's out in front and he go down, goes down the ball, wins his free, he'll kick it out this side of the field. John Francis Murphy goes up for it, a great catch by Johnny. A great catch and a great ball in towards Martin Leary. Martin under pressure. It's Jim Martin off of that. Sorry. 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 Come on, thanks. Uh, and cleared out well there by the cornerback. And well fisted on there. And here comes the bottom end. I think he's the midfielder. He's in the lovely ball out here. Towards the, another number six, the centre half back. He's in the good ball up. But Dan Connors reads a great. Finds David Murphy. Great play out of the back line and a free out. And David will take his free himself off his hands. He's in the long one, a long high one. That's not. Damien will. Could no Damien well read by the fullback. Gives it to number nine. Brendan Daly drives a long, long ball up. Well caught by number eight. Declan Fishdull, he's turned inside. He sends a great ball across here. Hey. Towards number twelve. Number twelve, Don Roderick on the left leg. He'll turn. He's start of got inside. Philip, he's under pressure. A dangerous ball across the goals. It's a free in. A free in. And maybe the bottom end fellas would have liked to have got the benefit of the uh, advantage there. Because number fourteen. The full forward, John Brusson, had that ball in front of the goals. In a very good scoring chance. But instead, it's going to be free in to be taken by number... What number is he? Number 13, I think. The left-legged player. It looks like DJ Hell here. DJ, DJ will kick this. A nice, just tails wide. Tan lucky for DJ. But very lucky for St. Peter's. Two points in it. Still six points to one goal and, and, and one point. And there's three minutes left in the first half. And Butterbent have really come back into this game. Rockchap, St. Peter's, the Rockchap and Wheeling combination started off very well. But I think they've faded out a little bit. They've actually moved PJ Murphy now to the middle of the field. Damien Murphy's gone centre forward and John Francis Murphy's gone full forward. PJ's under this and he contested well. Morris Murphy comes tearing out, finds PJ again. PJ sends a very high ball down. John Francis and two Butterbent men clashed. And I don't know what the free was there. A lucky free for the Butterbent men, for the... Owen Carroll and the fullback number three, Tom Delahunt, clash for that ball. It's driven down. David Murphy doesn't bring it with him. Number eight wins it. Declan Fishdull, he's getting a free. He has the free. He takes it quick and well won by Morris. And a lovely ball from Morris to Timmy Joe. Timmy Joe, a grand turn by Timmy Joe. He looks up. Oh, Timmy Joe. Morris again. Pulled on the ground. A lot of hassling here. A lot of tough play here. Well won by Dole Brodick on the left leg. He kicks it in there. Pat, Pat O'Keefe, number 10, is out in front, wins the free. And he, he won't kick this one himself. He'll leave it here for number 9, Brendan Daly. Sorry, sorry there, man. Number 9, Brendan Daly to kick, Brendan Daly to kick this one. He'll drive this one in long. Here he comes. It's a good one. It's a very dangerous looking ball. Well won inside by John Bruston. I think the 14. He's under pressure. He's on the ground. He tries to get rid of it. It's a hop, a hop ball, I think. A hop ball. And referee Pat O'Brien. And he's bring, pulling it out here to, I think, a dry patch maybe. Out here on the 21. And uh, PJ Murphy is coming out. PJ, the, the, the tallest man on the rock team. I'm saying probably the tallest man on the field at the moment. And he's going to jump for this one. He jumps, he breaks it down beautifully to David Murphy. David brings it out and sends a long ball, which is well right here by the number six, Sean Gale, who's having a fine game at centre back. He finds number five, Kieran Kennedy, and a dangerous looking ball up there, which is well won by the fourth. A dangerous ball across the goals. Well brought out by Connie Cut and pulled out. Just misses Conaghy. Brendan Daly will pick it up. John Ganey comes in to put him under pressure. Puts him under pressure. But Brendan gets a kick in. Which is a, a dangerous looking kick. Which is gone out I think for a, f a wide. One player says wide. 
the uh, Bosovin Minters 1 to 45 and uh, from here it actually did look very much like a 45 but the umpire was much closer than we were so if he gives a wide ball we'd have to take his word for it but uh, number uh, number 9 Brendan Daly kicked that ball in I think he got a, a late challenge and he's uh, rubbing his back at the moment he looks a bit sore he'd a very important man for Bottomant in the middle of the field having a towering game there and uh, we think that uh, it's very near half time it's probably the referee will probably blow it up now straight away a Rock Chapel player I think getting some attention inside in the goal mode Danny Murphy is getting some attention from Pat Murphy inside in the goal mode John Murphy will kick it out the referee says come on and kick it out uh, the Winters coming off the field again here the referee says, come on, we want this game to get out. We get moving. Here comes John. He kicks it out. And the referee blows for half time with the score. St. Peter's six points. All big Rangers from Bottevin. One goal and one point. So two points in it at half time. So we're back here now for the second half. The referee getting ready to draw in. A few switches on the St. Peter's team. Connie Cotton gone to the middle of the field. Doesn't win that one though. It's kicked in. Morris Murphy reads it from wing back. He comes out in front, but it's well won there by number eight, Declan Fitzgerald. He's blown a few steps too many. Declan Fitzgerald is going to be a free out. Damien Murphy will kick this one. And uh, let's just say that both teams have changed sides, and well, we've also done the same. We've switched wings here. Video man Gary Hayes thought the pitcher might be a little better from this side. That ball is driven in by John Francis, but it's well won inside by the cornerback. Clears it out over the sideline. It's going to be a line ball for Rock Chapel to be taken by John Francis Murphy. John Francis wants to leave. He looks up. He kicks the one in towards John Guinea. John in front of his man wins it. Pulled out by Owen Carroll. Number seven. Owen Carroll gets it out over, out over the sideline. John Murphy will take this one again. Looking for somebody to take the shot from her. John drives this one in. A good high ball in. PJ looks to be back in full forward. He contested again. A pull down by John Guinea, but it goes only into the goalie. David Balls who wins it well, picks it up and drives it out, but John Francis, a great catch by John, under pressure, great play by John, still going and wins a great free in, great play by John Francis, he'll be told to calm this down and take his goal if he can, here he comes, off his hands, this will put, if he can get it, which he does, he gets it a great score, a great boost for St Peter's, at the start of the second half, as they go back three points in front again, after just a minute and a half of play in the second half. John Francis Murphy back at centre forward. The only switch really is that Damien Murphy's gone centre back, Morris Murphy's gone wing back, and Connie Cotton has gone to the middle of the field. So, goalkeeper Dave, David Bowles is gone, uh, ready, getting ready to take it again. Seven points to 1 1 is the score. Connie jumps, Connor Guinea wins it well, reads it very well, and Connor drives a long ball out towards the wing. PJ Murphy will contest it with Martin Leary. John Francis reads the break, he goes down it well. He's fouled, I think. Yes, he's fouled. Fouled by the midfielder, clipping the ankles there. John will take the free himself off his hands, giving PJ a chance to go back in. I'm sure this will be another high one in for PJ. John decides to put it on the ground. And yes, he's placing this one, he's going to kick it from the ground. He comes, stands back from this one. He's going to drive a long one. He'll drive it as far as he can. He's about 45 to 50 yards out. Here he comes. Damien is making a little run, but Damien won't go. we we'll get it. John is sort of a bit low. PJ's in front. It goes down to Column. Murphy goes down a well. Column is fouled. Yes, a great free by Column. A great free by Column. One at right, I would imagine, inside the 21, the 20 metre line. John Francis will kick it. He's taking his time quite rightly. It's. Seven points to 1-1. One, one. We've about three or four minutes gone the second half. And John standing back. A great chance here and for a, to stretch the lead to four points. Here he comes. Very nice by John and it's four points. St. Peter's lead by four. I make that. I think this is John's fifth point today. I have Damien Murphy with two and PJ with one. And uh, that all started there with Conaghan E reading the break in the middle of the field and set that attack in motion. I can't come in here over the wire. But uh, I don't think we have any problems on the, on the terraces yet anyway. It's kicked out here. Timmy Joe wins it well. He bats it down in front. It's flicked out here by Kian Kennedy. Kian will have to go down. He pulls a good ball down. Down the wing. David Murphy is out in front. A lot of 
David, a little bit of hassle here. Uh, number 12 is on the ground, Donald Broderick. And a lot of hassle over here, a lot of people. And Donald doesn't look uh, looks under pressure. And num Don, I think, is getting up. I think he's got a, some a knock in the eye, maybe. Yes, I'd say a knock in the eye. It's a, a it's a free in, a free in which number nine, Brendan Daly, will take. A, number nine, Brendan Daly, is going to take this. I think Don Roderick will be all right. He's not too happy about that, but Brendan kicks a grand ball in by Brendan. It's tearing a bit out towards the sideline. Towards the wide, David Murphy wins it inside. David will drive this one out the middle. Brendan Daly reads it again. And a great ball in, back into number 12, Donald Roderick. He's a man, he sort of loses it there. It's picked up by number 8, Declan Fitzgerald. Declan has fouled a free in for Bottevent. A free in, a well won free for Bottevent. And Brendan Daly will kick this. Brendan all over the field today, Brendan for Bottevent. And he's going to kick this one. The referee lets him move a little bit out to a dry patch, I think. And uh, Windham will kick this one. He's about 30 yards out. Connie Cotton coming back to pick up number 10, who's Pat O'Keefe. Connie picks him up. Here comes Brendan. An important kick now for Bottom in this one. He kicks it well. He kicks it good. And it's gone all the way over the bar. And that reduces the score to just three points. It's eight points to 1 2. St. Peter's, the Rock Chapman Wheeling combination leading by three points. And the bottom end supporters here egging on their team. Their second week in a roaming in a county final and they won't want to go home disappointed again this evening. Here comes John Murphy. John comes, he'll drive this one out. A good one from John, out the wing. Brendan Daly wins it again. Brendan is under pressure, gets a good fisted ball out. Toes number 11, who's Dominic Jinx, he kicks a good ball in. Toes number 10, I think, it's a Pat O'Keefe, who is fouled. A foul on Pat O'Keefe, a free in. And this will be another one for Brendan Daly, and another chance, a great chance here for Butterman to reduce the deficit to just two points. It's about much similar position, a little to the right from, to the, from compared to the last one. And he's stand back, he'll, uh, he's confident should be up now after landing the last one. The crowd looking for silence and they get it. Here he comes. A good kick, it tails a little bit. It's gone to the left and it's gone wide. And Brendan will be very disappointed with that one. But you'd have to say he was kicking from sort of in the middle of a hole there. And uh, not as easy as the last one maybe for underfoot conditions. And here comes John Murphy, will kick this one out. John taking a good run. And the Butterfield fans getting behind their team now. They want a good rally in the second half. It comes out, Damien Murphy contested, well read by number eight. He kicks it into to Daly. Daly, the captain's kick is half blocked down. Well read again by Connor Guinea, back in his own end line. A great kick out by Connor Toss, Connie Cotton. Connie Cotton and Brendan Daly go for it. Connie does well and wins it. John Guinea reads the break and well won to John Francis Murphy. John Francis, a low ball up, pull PJs in front of his man and PJs foul. Oh, PJ, leave it. And that's great play, started again with Connor Guinea reading the break. And you can't beat the man with a bit of foot. Connor gets that ball out, and now we have a free in for Rockchapel about 65 yards out. And John Francis will take it. They're, Damien, they're leaving it to somebody else. Damien is going to come from centre back to kick it. And there's three points in it all the time. We've about. Eight minutes gone. About eight minutes gone in the second half. Eight points to 1 2. And Damien Murphy plays in this run very carefully. A good long run back again. Here he comes. He drives this one as far as he can. It's a good one. It's in towards PJ's out. PJ misses that one. Oh, and Carroll picks it up, but drives it back out. But Damien reads it again, and Damien Sutter leaves it behind him. He goes back and down it. He has Morris Murphy outside him. He gives it out to Morris. Morris gives it out to Connagini. Connagini looking up. Looking up. Connor, a left legged kick, a high one. In Colum Murphy, the big man will be under this one. Colum contests it and wins it. A great win by Colum, but. It comes back to John Francis, a great shot, and a, a great score, a great score. The score of the day so far from John Francis Murphy. A high ball again by Conor Guinea, having a great game in the middle of the field. Colin Murphy contested it, juggled with it, but John Francis got on the end of it and whipped it all the bar. It's nine points to 1-2, and St. Peter's lead by four again. Will I make about ten minutes gone in the second half? 
David Bowles, another kick out. He's been kicking out. This is his 10th from the 21 yard line. He kicks it out. John Francis Murphy's in front of the centre back. And it's not easy to get in front of that centre back. Number six, Sean Gairn, a tough man there at centre back. John will take his own. He's going to leave it for Damien, I think. He's about 40 to 45 yards out. Damien is going to kick it. Where do you go for a shot? John Damien will Damien will probably attempt to drive this again. He drove in the last one and we got a score from it. So he'll drive this one again. Another long run from Damien. Here he comes. He's looking for direction from the sideline. Drive it into PJ, they say. Here he comes. He drives it, tears it, but PJ is on the end there. A great catch by PJ. He turns it side, he's under pressure, gives it back to John Francis. And a shot, but it's left legged, it's wide from John Francis. Under pressure on his left leg. But again, great play, the direct ball in, and PJ must be in front of his man. Nine. Nine points to one two. I think I said, might have said ten. It's nine points to one two. There's four points in it. And that chance goes a begging there, but the ball is up here. David Balls again with another kick out. And the Rock Chapel, the Rock Chapel and Wheeling combination will want to keep this ball up here now for a while. Well read by Timmy Joe, but they didn't call for it. The ball goes down. Damien falls number eight, Declan Fishdull. Declan coming more into the game now. He sends a nice ball in, a good looking ball in, but David Murphy reads and David lets it after him. Number 10 drives it in, Pat O'Keefe into the forward, Richard Daly has inside. He's going for goal, I'd say. A shot goal! A goal! A goal from a corner forward, Richard Daly, number 15. The captain of the team. And really, that ball really should never really have gone in there. And unfortunately now, it's back, there's only a point in it again. Nine points to 2-2. Two, two. And oh my God, have we got a game in our hands now. John Murphy places it. They said he's going to take the kick out. He hasn't had an awful lot to do, John, but unfortunately he's had to pick it out of the net two eyes. And he's going to... Danny Murphy is injured at the moment inside at full back. Danny Murphy is injured. The referees call him, they're calling for attention for Danny. He's going, I think, is he going off? He's going off. Uh, are they lining up a substitute? I don't know if he's, how bad he is. He's getting a look, it looks like some, something in his eye. Tom Cal is calling for attention, they're looking for water, the first aid man going in here. Uh, they're going, calling back, Damien Murphy's going back in, full back. Um, and uh, maybe it's no harm to let, a, let things quieten down a bit after that goal. Botvin will on a high after that. The crowd are getting, really getting behind him now. There's only a point in it. We make it about 12 minutes gone in the second half. Near enough to 12 minutes. There's a free man here, number 12, Danny Murphy. Still on the side. Yes, he's getting attention over all the time. Damien Murphy is going back to kick out. Damien Murphy is going back. Damien Murphy is going back. Damien has gone back. He's gone back. Full back. He kicks this one out. It drives it out to the middlefield. John Francis Murphy gets. Morris Murphy reads it. Connie Curtin goes down it well. And a great ball out to Timmy Joe. Timmy Joe wins it. He's fouled, I think. Timmy Joe's fouled. A free for St. Peter's. A free for. And did Timmy Joe retaliate? He did. The referee is hopping the ball. The referee is hopping the ball here. A foolish play there by Timmy Joe. Unfortunately, a. 2-2 two, two to 9 points, there's only a point in it, Timmy Joe has a chance to redeem himself here, he's going to go for this, but he's with the big man Daly, Timmy Joe goes for it, he breaks it well, he goes down, he's in, hassling for it well, Morris Murphy comes out, it's out here near the sideline, it's gone all over the line, the uh, umpire is in, the umpire, shh, the umpire's a bit undecided, it wasn't an easy one to pick, it wasn't an easy one, the referee's going to hop it, the referee is going to hop it. There's a little bit of hassle going on here in the middle of the field. Declan Daly and Morris Murphy are going to go in for this one. Declan wants to take Ruddy at it. Number 12 is very near. He's looking for a quick break here. And there's a sub in for Rock Chapel. Sub in for Rock Chapel. Eamon O'Connor is in. Eamon O'Connor has come in. Danny Murphy has gone off. Danny is over on the sideline. I'm not too sure what happened, Danny. And uh, it looks like Timmy, Timmy Joe has gone back wing back. Here stand in front on, of him, on number Timmy, 12. Stand in front of him, Morris front Murphy of and Declan. There you go. Morris contested the ball. Breaks. Well held. Well held by 
by number 10, Pat O'Keefe. He wins his own free. He'll take it himself. He's looking up. He'll, he drives it down here. Morris Murphy reads it well and wins a great free. Now Morris, Morris will drive this. The referee will call him back. The Rock Chapel men won't mind that because the bottom man has it. And the uh, Rock Chapel, Sloan, or St. Peter's quite happy to slow it down at this stage. Morris will kick this from his own half back line. And the excitement really building up here now, only a point in it. That goal has really put the cat among the pigeons. As it goes over here, John Francis, or Dianguini, sorry, Dianguini, but Owen Carroll pulls and wins. Coming for it is David Murphy, and David redeems himself there. He gets it, gets in the vital foot, and gets the ball out of the sideline, and that's what we like to see. Decisive play from David there at cornerback. Owen Carroll drives it in, Conaghini jumps, Morris Murphy reads the break. Morris brings it out, great stuff by Morris Murphy, it's in the halfback, and a good drive. John Francis Murphy will be under that with Sean Gale. John Francis goes down it well. But they're not reading the brakes with him. And John, and it comes kicked out here towards number 12. Timmy Joe does great. The two number 12. Timmy Joe wins his free this time. There's no retaliation this time. And Timmy Joe will drive this one up here towards Connie Curtin and Colin Murphy. Connie gets a hand to it. He's pouring on Connie Curtin. Pouring on. Unlucky, unlucky there. Declan Daly wins it. He kicks it out here. Connor Guinea and Pat O'Keefe. O'Keefe win it. He won't shake Connor off. He gets a kick in under pressure. Morris Murphy is under this one. Morris gets a hand to it. Doesn't carry, doesn't hold it. I think it's a free out for a handle the ball on the ground, I think. Damien takes it quick and not a great kick by Damien. And uh, d one by one Carroll. And really, I think St. Peter should slow this down a little bit. David Murphy is coming for this one. He gets a hand to it. It's picked up by Damien. Damien is coming out. A great free one by Damien. And Damien will be taught to calm this down. To calm it down. He's got to drive it. He drives a good one. Connie Cotton is under it. Well read by John Francis Murphy. A good ball up here towards PJ. Can PJ win? A great catch by PJ. What a catch by the man. He gets a pass into John Guinea. John Guinea, a great ball to John Francis. A vital chance. PJ Murphy. Still going, a free in surely, a very dangerous looking ball, it could be a penalty. PJ clipped on the ankle there as he went in, he was going for goal. And Rock Chapel, I think he's going to give a free, yes I imagine a 14 yard free. The Bottomman fans aren't too happy about that one but it was definitely a free in, clipped across the ankles as he was going for goal. It'll be, on the, imagine on the 13 metre line, yes the referee is pointing to the spot. It'll be probably John Francis Murphy with a chance to put St. Peter's two points ahead again. <laughs> 17 minutes gone in the second half. So, so here comes uh, PJ getting some attention. Oh my God, St. Peter's, it's, uh, he's giving a penalty. He's giving a penalty to St. Peter's. John Francis Murphy has a chance to, for a penalty, a chance of a goal here, surely. The referee took his time. I thought he was giving a free, but it is a penalty. John Francis, well won by PJ. Great play there, right up the field. Watch the camera there, Bruce. Yeah. And John Francis Murphy with a chance of a penalty here. The referee wants to move all the bottom players back. And uh, here we are now. John Francis Murphy. On, boy, boy. On, David, boy, boy. John Francis Murphy versus David Bowles. Here he comes. John Francis ready to kick this one. The crowd getting very excited. The referee says, come on and kick it. Here he comes. The chance. The chance it's saved by David Bowles. It's saved. It's kicked out on the sideline. It's kicked out a free uh, line ball back in for St. Peter's. The line ball back in for St. Peter's. Who's coming out? Conor Guinea is coming out to take it. Here he comes. He kicks a long, a high one across the goals. They all go up for it. They miss it. PJ is under it. It's pulled it out. PJ has it almost. John Francis pulled. John Guinea. It's pulled out. Dan Connors is coming with number 11. Dominic Jinx. Dan does well. Dan does well with Dominic. A tough tussle between them. A free in, I think. A free in for Dan. The referee gives a free in against Dominic. It's a free for Dan. The bottom end supporters and Minters here on the, on the other side and the, the subs up here are getting very unruly at the moment. <laughs> Not too happy about some of the decisions. Colin Murphy wins it, holds it. 
Did he pick it up? He didn't. The ref says he didn't. It's pulled across. And it was a sort of a chance again. Gone at begging maybe. Dump number eight. I think it's Declan Fitzgerald has it. He turns well and sends a good ball in. David Murphy misses it. And, and there's a few men loose inside. Richie Fitzgerald sends it in to number 13. Is well held. Well held by, num by goalie. John Murphy. Conor Guinea wins it. Left legged up the wing. John Francis will be under this. Well won by Owen Carroll. A great fist out. A fist out here. And uh, John Francis will kick this. Sorry, Bottevinton making another substitution here, I think. They're, they're bringing in. Uh, well, we're not too sure yet who they're bringing in. But they're bringing in a sub. The. Uh, Full forward John Bruston has gone off. I'm not too sure who's in. We'll find out a bit later. John Francis Murphy will kick this one. He drives it across into the middle. One uncontested. Number 10 goes up. John Guinea. Uh, a long ball out here. John Francis will be under this one. A great catch by John Francis. A great catch and a well won free. Uh, oh, Connie Cotton didn't had the chance to hold it. Eamon O'Connor's in, but it's a uh, one inside. It looks like a free out. It is a free out. A free out for Bottevin. A well won free by centre back Sean Gairn. Sean looks out here towards, towards Donald Broderick and Timmy. Timmy Joe. Timmy lucky to get away. He falls. That's a free anyway. A free for Bottevin. Well won by Donald Broderick. He'll take this with his left leg. He'll take this with his left leg. He's, the referee says back. Back a little bit. He sends him back. Here he comes. He drives it left legged down this wing here. Morris Murphy is across the knee. Damien Murphy, but well won inside by number 13. DJ Hurley gets it out as far as Timmy Joe. Timmy Joe drives it left leg, right legged across the field. A good kick. There's Min coming for it. Martin Leary. Owen Carroll. Owen is the first to get to it. Owen wins it on a nice ball in here to number. I think it's Donald or um, Pat O'Keefe. Pat O'Keefe to Brendan Daly. Brendan Daly to Donald Broderick. What have been playing it around nicely now. Well blocked down though. Well blocked down by Timmy Joe and well won. Well picked up by Eamon O'Connor. Unlucky Eamon. Very nearly, very nearly fouled. Number 12, Donald Broderick wins it. He gets it across here to Pat O'Keefe. Pat O'Keefe going through, stalling through. He'll be looking for the equaliser. A dangerous sort of a ball in. It could go anywhere. It goes wide. And oh my God, those balls that go in there, those high balls look very, very dangerous when they arrive in there around the square. The Rock Chapel back line is not really comfortable under the high ball today. And of course, Danny Murphy has gone out of there now, a big loss out of the full back line. But Pat O'Keefe at number 10, Donald Broderick number 12, and midfielder Brendan Daly really rallying, rising to the occasion for Bottevin. Damien Murphy goes back to take this kick out. He places it. There are there are complaints of time wasting. Complaints of time wasting. Damien, about eight minutes to go. The referee taking note of all this. Damien drives a good one out to the middle of the field. Owen Carroll is the first man to it. Owen pouring into the game at centre half back. A great bit of clearing by Damien. A great bit of play by Damien Murphy. And a great ball out the wing. Eamon is coming for it. Eamon and Kieran Kennedy. Kieran wins it. Wins it and wins a free in. There's only a point in it. There's only a point in it. A kick of a ball. And we make it about seven minutes left. A point in it. Hey, what's number 10? And here's number nine. Brendan Daly will kick this one. He'll drive this one into the square. Bottom of supporters driving their men on them. St. Peter's supporting doing likewise. There's just a point in it. Here he comes. The Mark Peter Sminters want this one brought out. It's a dangerous looking one. It could go anywhere. It's coming out. Dan O'Connor, a great bit of play by Dan. A great bit of back out to Brendan Daly. Brendan under pressure, gets away from his man well. Gets a good pass in. Colin Murphy and Declan Fishdall. Declan gets a nice kick out. Uh, Conor Red Guinea, fire. a powerful catch inside and a free out. Oh, the catch, the catch of the day from Conor Guinea. And what a part he's playing. He's all over the field and a great bit of field in there at a vital stage of the game. Damien Murphy will take his time and slow this down. Here comes Damien. No hurry in Damien. The bottom end crowd wants him to hurry, but Damien is cool out. He'll kick this one long, as long as he can. Uh, Brendan Daly's in front of his man, and he's really towering into this game again. Philip Murphy contests it. A 
No, referee waves advantage. Connor. Don't, a lot of hassle on the ground. The ball is sticked back. Brendan Daly picks it up nicely there. Drives it left legged. Connor, David Murphy is under it. It goes down to Richard Daly. A dangerous looking ball. That's a goal. It's a goal. A goal for Spot Event. Again, the high ball into the square, causing a lot of problems. Yeah. The referee's going in. They're going to consult it. The umpire was quite adamant that it was a goal. The referee's gone in. But it's going to be the referee. The referee's gone in. He's consulting with the two umpires. I don't know what. He's disallowing the goal. He's disallowing the goal. He's disallowing the goal. No goal, a free out for a square ball. Taken quickly by Damien Murphy to Connor, to cover to Colin Murphy. Colin into Connie Curtin. Connie drives this one up the wing. PJ Murphy is coming for it. PJ doesn't get it. The full back puts it out over the sideline. A line ball for St. Peter's. And St. Peter's can count himself very, very lucky not to be trailing by two points at this stage. A lot of bad play inside the full back line. I think there's five minutes to go. A lot of messing in there. And every time Bottomman put that ball in there, they look like they're capable of hitting the net. And the game is not over yet. John Francis Murphy is out here. He's going to kick this one in. It's high. PJ flicks it on. But it's well read by cornerback, who drives it all right towards the sideline. Well kept in play by Connie Curtin, who sends a very high ball up. PJ jumps, and it breaks. Not one though, won by a bot of a man and wins a good free out. Bring that man, Brendan Daly again, to Pat O'Keefe. And they won't, they'll have no complaints about those two men anyway in bot of it tonight, if their result isn't right. Philip Murphy comes on in front and pulls on it. Timmy Joe would want to go down on this one. He pulls, on, John. whips. John Guinea whips to Connor Guinea. Connor will carry this. And Connie sends it in to PJ. PJ's inside. A chance yeah. and a score. A great point by PJ. To put two points in it again. But I'm telling you, the bottom end boys won't give up. They'll fight to the bitter end. They're only two points down. There's about three to four minutes to go. David Walls is hurrying on his kick out. He wants to get this ball back down the field. And Rock Chapel. Joseph Cahill is on the Rock Chapel team for Martin Leary, I imagine. Yes, for Martin Leary. And a great score by PJ Murphy. Here comes David. Driven out the wing here. Towards Donald Broderick and Timmy Joe and Timmy, Timmy Joe is fighting and pulling and a good pulling and good fighting and a free, a free a lot and a little bit of a shamosal here again. But it's all all right, it's all all right. It's a free to Bottevin to be taken by that Donald Broderick. Going forward, drives it in towards DJ, D, DJ O'Hurley, DJ wins the free. A strong man DJ inside at number 13. A good left-legged ball in. The, Contested and broken down. It looks like Sean. Sean is that Sean Gairn the centre back? Sean Gairn the centre. Oh yes, he's gone up to the forward line. He's been moved up to the forward line. Sean Gairn, and he wins the free. And then remember, there's only two points in it. And what event? Have probably still have time to kick two points. And we make out this. Three minutes to go. Brendan Daly will surely go for the point here. Here he comes. He got one from a similar position. He gets this one. There's only a point in it. Will we have another day out yet? Will we be on again next Sunday? And what a great battling performance by both teams. And really, they both play their hearts out. And again, been a fine sporting clean game. Damien Murphy putting it down to take the kick out. He'd want to drive this one, Damien. The boys are telling him to slow it down the bottom and for both are driving on their main. We're in the last, we're inside, we're in the last two minutes of the game. Damien will try this one as far as he can. It's a good one, it's a good one. The Connor Guinea, but well won by Pat O'Keefe. Pat O'Keefe going through, kicks it under pressure, tailing, tailing. Wide ball, wide ball. Wide ball. Richard Daly, very unlucky not to keep that one in. And uh, it's a, 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 a wide ball, it'll be a kick out from the edge of the small square. Damien Murphy will be in no hurry to take this one. We're, in, we're inside the last minute of the game. The referee looking at his watch. I see him looking at his watch over there. There's only a point in it. Ten points for St. Peter's. Two, three for Aubeck Rangers. The bottom of team. Here comes John. John is kicking this one. 
John drives a good one out to the middle of the field. John Guinea's under it. Well read by Dan O'Connor. Dan kick is blocked down and number 11 has it. Dominic Jinx across to Pat O'Keefe. Sean Gairn. Sean loses it. Gets a flick out. Timmy Ejo has it. Timmy Joe has it out towards Cullum. Cullum looking to get away with a little nudge. Connie Cotton goes down it. Doesn't win it. And Owen Carroll wins a great ball. A great ball into Dominic Jinx. Left legged in, left legged wide. And the referee looking at his watch. I don't think Bonavin aren't going to get too many more chances. St. Peter's will be very lucky to hold on. The referee looks at his watch again. They're saying time is up. It's 2 3 to 10 points. John Murphy will want another big kick out like the last one. Here he comes. This one goes out much the same position as Brendan Daly is up for it, doesn't win it. John Gaddy pulls, the ball is cleared out towards the sideline. Colin Murphy and Brendan Daly, it's pulled on all there. Well read by Owen Carroll. He's played a great second half for, for, for Bonavin. David Murphy comes, David goes down that well and brings it. David is sucked to foul, he is fouled, he gets a free out. A tackle from behind. He takes it quick, not a great kick. Won again by that number seven, Owen Carroll. A free, Owen wins his free. He had the ball given away, but not too happy about that. They wanted the advantage. It's another high ball in. Morris Murphy will be under it. They're all under it. There's fists going everywhere. It breaks to number 10, Pat O'Keefe. Sends it wide. Sends it wide. Pat O'Keefe. Sends it wide. My John Murphy here tells me the time is as good as up. The time is up. The referee has been looking at his watch. He gets a signal from the sideline. Maybe from the umpire. Uh, John Murphy, another kick out, and St. Peter's are under an awful lot of pressure here in the last five minutes. John Murphy comes, he comes again. Is this one? It is as good as the last one. It goes out, it's sort of bro it's broken, it's not won by a Rock Chapel half back line, not bringing those breaks. The bottom of him tearing down it, but Philip Murphy comes out and wins it. Gets a good ball out to David Murphy. David drives it down the field. Colin Murphy, and it's all over. It's all over. And a, a great game in St. Peter's win. Their first ever county minor B League title. On the score of 10 points to 2 3. Very lucky to get, get away with it in the end. And a, a great game. And a commiserations to Bottevin. They put up a great performance and very unlucky. Very unlucky indeed. And uh, just before we go, we get a word from John Murphy. We'll take the presentation as well. All right. John. Um, a great result. Fantastic. We gave away two goals from two bad mistakes that it has to be said they were bad mistakes but uh, in the end with Damien Murphy thought played so probably at full back and he went in there uh, or, full, or forward line great throughout PJ Murphy had an outstanding game probably the man of the match for me right. um, outstanding great result fair play to him ok so we leave Gary now at the moment and we'll be back for the presentation later on open the drink yes. Thank you, Frank. Yeah. 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 This is the first year of the uh, County Minor Board in action, organising the minor uh, competitions for the whole county. On behalf of uh, Custer Minor Corky, I wish to present the Allied Irish Banks Trophy to the captain of uh, Ferdinand Pather. Uh, I want to congratulate the team on a, a great win. Conditions were heavy for both sides. And uh, to say that you hung on, I think, isn't overstating it. But I think both teams played it in great spirit. There wasn't a foul stroke in it. And I want to congratulate you. And also to congratulate the club and the mentors for keeping a team on the boil till the month of December. I think there's great credit due to anybody who does it. And it was a tremendous, tremendous game of football. So congratulations to everybody concerned. <laughs> Step forward, and um, first of all, I would like to thank Budfind for a very good, clean, and sporting game. Conditions are desperate, and um, I would like to thank the Joe and all the selectors for all the work they've done for us during the year, and uh, for all the players for a great sporting effort. And uh, I'd like to give three cheers for Budfind. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray!
Pep, pep. Thank you. 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 No, 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 I don't know. No, I don't know. No, I Thank you, Donald. Thank you. Uh, first county success, I think, with Rock Chapel, with St. Peter's. Oh, I thought there for a stage that we weren't going to get a county success because we didn't play particularly well today. Conditions didn't really suit us, but I think we had a small bit of luck today, which we hadn't last week, thankfully. Right, your heart was in your mouth for those last five to ten minutes? Over the last five to ten minutes, I thought it would never finish. I thought when they got the goal that they were definitely going to get another one because they had total possession down there, but the few balls that we got up, we made use of them, and PJ got a great score, which actually I think was the winning of the game for us in the finish. Right, OK. This is Pat. Thank you. Uh, delighted? Oh, I'm delighted, it's just the last five minutes was, was harder than any game of going. Right. Okay. Oh, we were really under pressure in the last, the last five minutes. We all backs play well, fair play at them. We took our scores well, our points scored. It. The goals, the bride kept them in it really, like, they got they got a couple of handy goals, but it was worth the finish. Right, he hung on. We hung on. A big night in the rock tonight? Oh, I hope so. Right. Okay. Well, we're getting used to it now, the right. soft one. All right, congratulations, Pat. Thank you. Chairman, you must have been delighted to see you. To see Rock Chapel, we need to St. Peter's, we need to do. Well, to the, to the, uh, puts us back on a new road again, I hope, for the future. I, you're, you're the new chairman, I hope you'll have as much success. OK, uh, thank you. On, with the teams as well, I was, I was lucky. I hope you'll be as lucky and this will stop you off. OK, all right, thanks very much, Johnny. <laughs> Okay, Jeffrey Thanks, right. Collins, former minor, under 21, and current intermediate player with Rock Chapel. Uh, your thoughts on today's game? Oh, I thought it was uh, an outstanding victory for Rock Chapel, and uh, very impressed by the play of some of our younger members. And particularly, I thought John Francis Murphy was the man of the match. He kept his head up after the penalty didn't go his way. And Conor Guinea, Morris Murphy, I thought brilliant day for Rock Chapel, and there's definitely a great future. Okay, right. Thank, Thank you, so. Jeffrey. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>